friends, Mrs. Knox again, here to highlight another activity from our choice board. This would be a great thing to try on Wednesday of this week. And the activity says, draw a candy store with various candies and prices. Give your friend a dollar to spend at your store. So the materials you need for this are a notebook or a piece of white paper, um, crayons, markers, colored pencils, anything you have. Even if you don't have those, you can just um, do it with a pencil and a couple different colored pens. And this was uh, a lot of fun for me to create. And so I made a candy store and I called it the Crazy Candy Company. And you can see that I have different kinds of, of candies that I've drawn, a Hershey bar and Reese cup. And um, then I added price tag. So I put my favorite candies on there and then I made up the prices. And you could do any price you want, um, but the activity does say that your friend only has a dollar to spend. So you wanna make sure that your amounts are smaller amounts so that they can get more than one thing. So some of my items are 10 cents. I have some that are five cents. You could make things one cent. Um, you, it's your candy store so you can make the prices. Um, and then you can name it. Um, if you had time, you could even cut the, um, pic the pictures out and have them um, as separate things and maybe sit them around your house like a real candy store. And then you need to find a partner. If there's no one at home that can do this with you, then just shop at your own candy store. If you have some play money, you could get that out and use it. Maybe you have some uh, money from a Monopoly game, but if you don't, you can just draw it. And if you stay tuned, I'll show an example of how I played this game or did this activity with Mr. Knox. So check it out. Okay, so I've designed my candy company and now I'm gonna work with my partner and I'm gonna let him spend $1 at the candy store. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna look at my um, drawing of the candy store and using mental math, he's gonna keep track of it up here. He's gonna spend $1, only $1. He could go under, but he can't go over at Crazy Candy Company. All right, so here's the store, sir. It's called Crazy Candy Company. And what would you like to purchase? Well, the very first thing has gotta be a Reese cup. Okay, and how much is that? That's 40 cents. All right. And I do love some Twizzlers, and that's 10 cents. Are you just going to get one? I'm going to get two of those. Okay. So that takes me up to 60 cents. 40, 50, 60. Yes. And then I'll take a Hershey's, which is 25 Ooh. cents. 60 plus 25. Yeah, it's tough. Let's go with 85 on that one. You could write it down if you needed to. I could. You could do 60 plus 25. So, you, so you're so you at 85. Yes. So how much do you have left? $1 minus 85 is 15. Okay. So I have 15 cents left. You can't go over. I'm not giving anybody credit. You don't do credit? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, um, I will take a double bubble, which is 10 cents. Okay. So that leaves me with five You're cents. You're the customer, I don't know. <laughs> and let's face it, I'm gonna spend all of my money. I'm not gonna save any. Okay. So I'll get jelly beans for five cents, which takes me up to one dollar. Reese cup, two Twizzlers, a Hershey bar, a double bubble, and a jelly bean. That's a lot of candy. And an upset stomach. And a lot of candy. All right, well, that's all we've got time for today. Make sure that you send me a picture of your candy store on Dojo, either as a message or on the class story. I can't wait to see it and see what kind of candy um, you put in your store. So until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep learning. See you again on Friday.